Welcome! Hi. Yellow. Hi there. Hola. Hola a todo el mundo. Bike shorts. Leave everything to the imagination. Imagination creation. I don't need. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Imagination vacation. That's what I'm on right now. We're gonna take you on a journey tonight. We're gonna show you some cool videos. I think this is episode nine. Cause we're fine on a rhyme all the time. Somebody's really bad at rhyme and stuff. Fresh Pillsbury dough girl right here. <laughs> If you could pick any rap name, why would you pick Pillsbury Dough Girl? Because if you poke me, I giggle. <laughs> <laughs> she crisps off in your mouth. <laughs> Our first little short is uh, about poetry. It's a little poetry read, but it's uh, a nifty take on the thing. If you're into that sort of thing, poetry. Um, yeah, with, uh, Will Smith. Duh. You have to be intelligent to understand this short. It's, it's truly an intellectual, philosophical little... It's a journey through life. Yeah, it's, I mean, what this person's life told exquisitely. So that's the biggest word I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's going to be a philosophical journey. More of these. Into the mind of a cat. Um, also, it takes an intellectual person to quite. I don't know why I said quite. Staring into a cat's eyes is like staring into the abyss of stupidity. Do you know if you cut off a cat's head, they can live for up to 48 hours? <laughs> what? That's so not even true. Do you know a snare can blare at my hair up there? Alright, and after that. Uh. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Drum roll, please. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> how to play the drums. I tried to learn how to play the drums this week. Didn't go so well. Drummers out there. Good job, because it is hard to do. Uh, okay, well, uh, watch some shorts. Really? <laughs> I think I'll write some poetry. The Urban Outfitter. Seventy doll hairs for seventies faux. Some people work hard, but I wouldn't know. My Polaroid has real lenses. Snapping pics is my addiction. But the lenses in my glasses, you know these are prescription. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Society's so oppressive, forcing me to be a cog. It's a shame I can't make money. Reviewing music for my blog. Poetry's pretty sweet, because everybody does. Everybody. Everybody does it. Everybody. Everybody does it. Everybody writes poetry. Everybody. I can't. I'm no longer unique. Ah! We're at the zoo. <laughs>
Hi. How you doing? We was at the zoo. my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we just have drinking problems. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I were a pro. Wow, I just found like eight pieces of hair on my leg from my head. That's gross. There's another. Um... Ha, that was, those were so funny. Drums.
was awkward. So, um, next, you are going to see Casa Bingada Boom! Chuta, my hell. Do you know what I'm saying? Did you smoke meth earlier? <laughs> no. I don't know what you're talking about. I just cleaned my entire house. Actually, that made me really itchy when you started doing that. That was real itchy. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna see some wizards. Wizards. So, we thought it would be funny if uh, we were like, what if wizards were just like normal people who were really lazy and uh, just people who didn't use their magic for good intelligent things. The battery's about to die. Um, we thought this was what they would look like. And then after that, we're gonna make some comic book shoes! Because comics are something that neither of us partake in. <laughs> That's why we don't feel bad about cutting them up. They were like one dollar comics, so... Not like they were the limited editions. <laughs> Holographic? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know anything about comics. Sorry, guys. I have played Magic before. I've watched the TV show The Max. <laughs> Afro Samurai. <laughs> Love that. I've seen Spider-Man. 48 times. I have seen Superman before. Alright, so let's go on to our segments. Later. Skater. What do you think about this September? I am very, very scared, and I can feel the fire from all the way over here. There's a man with a lantern wheel trying to get home. I turned my light off on my porch so I could watch. Watch him like a film. Friend of fire, friend of light, guide my path. To a circle of stealth. Path of fire, path of light through the dark. Bring my friend to me. What say you conjure up some snackaroos? <laughs> Snack, snacks. Okay. I can't remember. Come, the come now. The spell. Snacks. Some snacks would be real great. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I learned a thing or two from the forbidden books section of the library. And one of them, you're not supposed to do this because conjuring food is against wizard law. But if I was to say, hypothetically, something like sure. Snackus Instantius. One <laughs> 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 Amazing. The things you can do when you turn to the dark arts, man, I tell you. It's uncontrollable stuff. Speaking of dark arts... We got it. Gas station. Speaking of the dark arts, though, Drew, how about some dark side of the moon? Pinkus Floydus. Yeah, chips! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, remember old, uh, McGonagall? Yeah. <laughs> the Accio? Accio? I don't remember. How did it go? I think it was something like Accio Felinus. Get the cat. Get the cat. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the kitty! Wait. But is that? Come on, she tooted. Get back. <laughs> she tooted. <laughs> oh no! It's the Primus! <laughs> Can I just ignite us? No, no. Can the lapis ignite us? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, what's this? 
Parce que t'as pas mal. Ouais, 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 c'est pas mal. something simple. This here is called the hi-hat. This is the snare, and this is the bass drum. We're not going to worry about anything over here right now because that's for advanced drummers. So, to begin with, the hi-hat. The bass drum. The snare. is my house. This is where I come back to. This is where I live. This is where I branch out from. This is a little bit more advanced, but this is the drum roll. You don't really use this very much, but you know, if you ever wanted to go for that carnival sense, Hey, welcome Whoa, back! Oh, that was awesome! So awesome! Um, I love wizards so much. Awesome, awesome. Also, Mod Podge is cool. Like me and her. And her glass is cool. Um, next we're going to make homemade pizza that really didn't go or abide by any recipe. So try it at home, because it actually is pretty easy. It turned out well for not knowing what I was doing. Yeah, uh, pizza's good, and uh, people like it, I guess. <laughs> Unless any of you dumb people are vegans. I was one of them. And then I ate a pizza. Not this pizza. Anyway. 
It's good. You should make it. It's so good. And then after that, um, I was in, we were inspired. We were inspired by. Uh, we just thought this would be an interesting character to film. And uh, this is how to survive the summer and still be goth. This is something that we struggle with every day. How to stay goth. How to keep it cool in the summer heat. Let's just watch it. <laughs> Good idea. On to the next. I hate everything. I wear black on the outside because black is how I feel on the inside. Marcy. Summer goth rule, no matter how hot it gets, no matter how sweaty it gets, never take off your black. Honor the Dark Lord at all times. It might be really hard to, you know, keep all your, uh, your makeup on, but... Uh, you know, just... Just keep wearing it, because no matter how much it smudges, you'll still look really cool and dead. You must stay goth in every situation. is a lifestyle choice, I still have to pay bills, like most people, even though I do have to conform in some ways, like having a job that I hate. I like to try to stay true to my dark
that was it! <laughs> did you fence? You're doing like fencing moves. I did actually. <laughs> My brother learned how to fence and I learned how to fence. So I can do a fencing stance. Interesting. Pizza? That looks so good. Milo's La Pizza. Mm. P-I-Z-Z-A. Our pizza. Did I happen to say... Pizza. So, and also, I hope that you learned a lot from the how to keep it cool in the goth season. Mm -hmm. that, we do love pizza tree. It wasn't on that box because we were trying to say that we didn't like pizza tree because we love pizza tree. Yes. It's a good place with good pizza. And we have no affiliation at all. We just eat their pizza frequently. You know what else I find interesting? Gerbils? No. Rocks. Oh. That was it. And why is there a rock in my shower? <laughs> I have one that it's on a leash. And I pet it and feed it small little pebbles. And bugs. Did you know my warrior name is Princess Kea? Did you know that my rap name is Mad Crucial? <laughs> it's totally true, dude. What would your rap name be? Mayor Death? <laughs> Mad Death? My rap name would be Into the Hizia! Yeah! <laughs> what? Because I'm busy on the busy. Spell that! It's Mare to duh. the. Oh, duh. Duh. His with 89 Z's and then one E. Remove 20. Capital E. Yeah. A three. I just slobbered everywhere. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our show. Tune in next time for episode 10. Episode 10. That's five hours ten. of content. Ten. Five hours. Yeah. Hot dang. We, we took up a lot of our lives making these. Don't have any friends. No friends don't care. We go out to make the show. Short hair don't care. Show hair. Show hair. Show hair. Show hair. Show hair. Show hair. Toes. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you next time on Yes with Nim and M M and M. We're chocolatey centers. <laughs> oh, Team Chocolate Candy over here. I'm green, you're yellow. Okay. Bye.